Hello and welcome to Euchromedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to create an audio meter using shape layers in After Effects. All right, so we are in After Effects and this is what we're going to create using shape layers. By the way, I won't be able to show you everything you see in this composition, but I will show you the most important parts and you should be able to figure it out from there. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip51. So the first thing I'm going to do is double click on this rectangle tool to bring that into our composition. And then next, I'm going to change the size of it. So I'm going to go to size and change that down to 130 on the X and then 30 on the Y. And after this, I'm going to select contents and then go to add and then select repeater. And so what it does, it basically takes your shape and then repeats it however many times you define it here. So I'm going to do 20 copies. And right now it kind of repeats it to the right. So I want to change that. So I'm going to go to transform and then go to position where it says 100. I'm going to take it down to zero. And then I'll take it up about negative 40, I think. Yep, that's good. And then I'm going to select this and do control alt home to center the pivot point and then control home to center the shape in our composition. So that's exactly what I want. So now we're ready for animation. So I'm going to convert this audio, all these audio waves into keyframes because I want the actual value so I can do something with it. And to do that, we're going to right click on this audio and then go to keyframe assistant and then convert audio to keyframes. So when you do that, you have this new solid that's been created. And if you select it and hit U on your keyboard, you can see all the keyframes. So we have this left channel, right channel, and then both channels. So if I scroll this, you can see that the numbers are exactly the same. So I'm going to select right and left channel and hit delete to get rid of it. So we only have one to worry about. So next we're going to go back inside of our shape layer here and then select copies and then hit S twice to solo it. And then alt click on the stopwatch to activate the expression. And I'm going to take this down just a little bit. And inside here, we're going to define some variables. So I'm going to say audio, you're going to be this property right here. And then next, I'm going to do a linear expression. And basically what a linear expression does, it kind of restricts your numbers. So for example, right now, if I look at our audio waves right here, I can see that this is probably the highest point of our audio right here. And if we scroll through here, we can see that it's about 1820 or so. So it's not higher than 19. So I think if I say don't go higher than 19, we're probably going to be safe. Now the lowest point is what, like zero? So it goes from zero to 19. I don't think it gets higher than 19. So that's good. So in the linear expression, I'm going to restrict it. So I'm going to say linear and I'm going to say, take the values from this slider right here. So I'm going to say audio. So this audio right here directs to that property. And from there, I want my lowest number to be zero and then my highest number to be 19. And so when it's zero, I want it to be zero as well. And when it's 19, I want it to be 20 because I have 20 bars and I don't want it to go higher than 20. So essentially we're just restricting numbers here. All right, so let's see what happens. So let's go to the beginning, hit play. Welcome to As you can see, it works quite well. Now, the cool thing about this being a shape layer, you can actually add more things to it. So you can go to contents and go to add and you can add another repeater. And you can go over here and just play with the different properties. So you can maybe, you know, maybe you can take it a bit further to the right, like so, uh, maybe give it more copies and then play around with the scale. So let's do like what, maybe scale like this, uh, or maybe more like skinnier. You can also play around with the rotation and just sky is the limit what you can do here. You can also add other things like a zigzag, for example. Uh, where is it? So let's play with that. So you get the idea how useful this can be. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip51. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.